I actually believe that. I think people would be surprised. I, I'd give our edge to the defense, to be honest with you. I think we have a very underrated defense. I think when the guys are all playing well together, I, I think a lot of people question our goaltending because they don't see a lot of shots. I see them every day during practice, and I think we've got two of the best goalies. I mean, right now, Avery is our starting goaltender, but Jack has been playing great too, and I have, I have confidence in both of them. If Jack needed to play, I think he would respond as well as Avery has responded. And um, so I, I think we have a very good defense, and I think they match up very well against our offense. Our second team midfielders play very intense defense on our first team guys during practice, and I think it's what's made them so good. But they're going to get tested this week. They'll find out. But I, I'll be curious to find out the other boys' answers too. But I, I think our defense holds the edge. Given that three of our captains are offensive guys, I think I know what the answer is. But uh, I, I, I think our defense would match up pretty well. Uh, as a defender, I gotta, I gotta pick the defense. I think uh, throughout the year, our defense has been very strong. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of times when me, Scooty, and Jesse have been out there together just because of injuries and different stuff. But uh, when the three of us are out there together, we have good chemistry. We work well together. And nothing against our offense, but I gotta pick our defense. That's a tough call. I think, I think right now our defense is a little bit more. I'd say experience than our offense is. We have a couple of younger guys on offense. We have a couple of young guys on defense, but our core of our defense is seniors. And our, our core of our offense is seniors too, but I think our defense just has a little bit more, I think a little bit more confident than our offense is right now. Our offense, we've had great outputtings, like, but Keen, we struggled a little bit, and our defense really hasn't had a game they really struggled yet, so I think I think right now our defense has a little bit of an edge, but I wouldn't say it's a big edge. Uh, they get a couple. There's definitely some plays where I think we would slip off, but uh, Avery's been playing unbelievable, and overall as a defense, we're working well together, so I have to pick the defense. say offense just because I, I play more offense than I do defense but um, it'd be a close battle it'd be a fight to the end you know um, our defense is playing real well right now um, Jesse Joe Scooty Avery everybody even the second line is playing playing out of their minds and on offense I think we're playing real well you know we're moving the ball around um, and you know it's great competition you see in practice you know when all the starters go out there and play we're, we're definitely playing for win and a little bit of bragging rights um, you know definitely on man up and man down you know, man down kind of knows our plays since we've been running for so long, so it's always good to see the competition there. But, you know, I, I think it's, it's a toss-up pretty much. You know? Offense. I think offense wins. Uh, I'm probably a little biased because that's my position, but I just think on offense we have so many, just so many dangerous weapons. It's pretty crazy. And I'm not, our defense is very good, like best in our division by far, I think. But I just think we got so many guys, so much depth, and if we run the right plays and – do what we can. From what I see of practice, I think we I think we take them. Yeah, the span of weeks we kind of played. You know, some teams are in the lower end of the division, and you know maybe that kind of put us to sleep, so we didn't you know have the same respect that we should normally have for our opponents. So I think playing Winnipeg, kind of Merrimack Valley, and Portsmouth, who all you know at the top of the division or at least in the middle of the pack, you know, very good teams. Um, is important for us to step up and really bring it to every game because we know that you know when it kind of in Portsmouth definitely have the capability and the firepower. And even Mer Merrimack Valley, I know that it gave us a scare last year, so um, it's definitely going to be important to bring that intensity to every game and, and really step up. Definitely going to have a playoff atmosphere. I think that's very important for us to learn how to play with the pressure, play with the different scenarios we have to play in. And yeah, I think I mean sometimes we have those games where it's easy, but like it's for easy us we just get by, we show up and we play and we win. But we need those games to push us. We need to be pushed. Because for the playoffs, every game is going to be a contest. Like, you're going to walk, even though we're playing the, whatever, the 8th seed, the 10th seed, wherever we're playing in the first round, it's still going to be a close game. It's still going to come out firing. And it's still going to be important for us to learn how to play through adversity, learn how to play through teams pushing us to a point where we're going to have to change maybe how we play to get through there. That's pushing us around. It's early, but I mean, you know, during ski season, during the winter, I'm here loading the buses, you know, as we're going up the ski meets and stuff early. I think, you know, for these guys, it, it's just a little something to push through. It's not going to be a hard practice. We're going to we're gonna do man up and man down. We're going to do some 6v6. We're going to do some stuff that maybe 
because we have a bigger group, haven't necessarily been able to spend the time on. And I also think it's one of those things that, you know, it's a team building thing. You work through a little bit of adversity. These guys are young. They can, they can handle it. They're going to have most of the weekend off. We're going to get together on Sunday after, you know, after having given them Friday night and the prom and everything on Saturday. And um, so I'm fine. I'm excited. I mean, I woke up this morning, made sure the sun was out at 6.15. We're ready. We'll be ready to go on the turf tomorrow. I'll have my coffee. I'll be ready to go. It's going to be a long day. I mean, we're probably going to go to bed early tonight, uh, get up. But at the same time, we've never done it before. We never had a pass before school. So I guess in a way, it could, it could be fun, you know, getting out there and, uh, you know, going to practice early. With Actually, school. I have first two periods off tomorrow, so I might take a nap somewhere. That's going to be a long day. That's, I mean, prom doesn't even end until, like, what, 11? And then there's hanging out afterwards, so I, I think we do have to practice. I mean, we got a big week next week, and I'd rather do it beforehand rather than afterwards because then it's just rushing around. But it's going to be a long day, but... It's nothing we can't handle. I mean, for me in particular, I hockey team, 5.45 practices every week in the morning, so I'm kind of used to that. But I think it'll be a long day. I think it'll be a really fun day because especially for a couple of us seniors, we have uh, doing internships right now, so we have some time off in the middle of the day. But, yeah, getting up for practice in the morning, I'd rather get out, out of the way in the morning, get stuff done, then have the afternoon off so not really stress about for like, getting too very practice. So yeah, I think it'll be a tiring day, but it'll be a lot. I don't normally nap during the day, but I wouldn't be surprised if I passed out because waking up at uh, about 5.15, 5.30, and then having to go through the whole day, work at, or actually we don't have work at the Fisher Cats tomorrow. That's where I'm doing my uh, independent senior project. And uh, going through classes, and if it's another beautiful day, that'll take your energy out just a little bit more. But uh, it's going to be a long day, but we know we need to get this practice in and keep working hard and finish the season off the way we want to. They're really good kids, um, and I think they know how much they would let down an awful lot of people if they made those decisions. We talk an awful lot about, you know, think about all the work that you've put into getting where we are now and how far the program has come. And, you know, and the other thing we talk about is really if, if you can't have fun with your date without doing some of those things, then maybe there's some bigger issues that we need to talk about. But, um, you know, I, I think these guys are a close-knit group. They're going to watch each other. They're not going to allow each other to get in situations like that. I mean, we talk an awful lot about having your teammates back and making sure that they're not in bad situations and helping them to get out of bad situations. So I'm not worried at all about my guys this weekend. I know they're going to make great decisions. I, prom, actually, to me, I think is one of the easier weekends because I think there is so much hype around the drinking and driving and all that and the parties and that stuff, it's its the other weekends that I worry about that you do kind of lull to sleep that maybe they might slip into making a bad decision. But I think these guys are going to have a great time this weekend. Um, they're all they are all taking pictures together. They got the, the post-prom parties at each other's house. I, I think I think I'm not worried about it. I'm expecting to get plenty of text messages and, hey, coach, everything went well last night. Yeah, I mean, tomorrow's prom night too, which will be fun, you know, for all the guys to hang out, uh, you know, we're going to Manchester Country Club, so it should be fun. Um, you know, but it's a good weekend to just kind of relax, you know, get out of the cross mode. I think Saturday we're going to go watch some college cross um, down in Providence and uh, North Andover to just, you know, experience the cross outside and hang out with the guys. So I think it's, it's good right, you know, right in the middle of the, the lacrosse season and, and especially when we have a big week coming up next week. Um, it's good to kind of just relax and lay low for a little bit. Um, until we have to ramp it back so up. Tomorrow afternoon I'm looking forward to going home and having dinner at a normal time. Maybe sneak a scout in in the afternoon, but probably probably going home and, and relaxing and enjoying the afternoon. Saturday, you know, waking up and, and not really having much to do and nothing till till Sunday afternoon. Um, do have some tomahawk practices mixed in there, but yeah, it'll be nice. I mean, a lot of our scouting's been done. Um, it, it will be nice just to relax and, and spend some time with my wife and, and uh, yeah, I'm sure she'll enjoy it too, seeing me around a little. And that's great. It's also very important because kind of puts it in reality too, like lacrosse is very important and lacrosse is very important to all of us, but there's still a life outside of it and I think having that kind of stress relief, kind of just going out, having fun with your friends, having fun with other classmates, I think that's important to, for the rest of the season too because you don't want to put so much pressure on yourself that you're thinking about it all the time and that you're, if you don't play to a certain standard, you're just, you're upset with yourself. There's still, so you got to find ways to keep yourself easy throughout, easy throughout the season.